But Hinduism is interesting in that it is multifaceted. Hinduism is not monolithic, it is multifaceted. So I'm going to make some general statements about Hinduism, kind of inform you if you don't already know, that in Hinduism all of reality is believed to be a simplified whole. In other words, in Hinduism you can't make a distinction between, let's say, morals and mice, something that is metaphysical and something that is physical. Everything is a simplified whole. And all of what is, is believed in Hinduism to be a continuous extension of Brahman, which is believed to be the impersonal. Now note that word, impersonal. The impersonal cosmic consciousness of the universe. So Atman, they say, is Brahman, and Brahman is Atman. The Hindu scriptures, you think about the uh, Vedas and the Upanishads, now they, they hold the goal of humanity. So if you read them in short, in sum, you'll get the idea that liberation is the goal of humanity and what are you being liberated from? Well, an endless cycle uh, of death and reincarnation. Until then, the law of karma will dictate that our deeds in previous lives will determine what we do in the next incarnation. Uh, so karma is a big part of Hinduism. So the Hindu idea I often call the hell of reincarnation. The Christian idea is the hope of resurrection. So on one hand you have the hell of reincarnation, you go round and round and round until finally you become one with nirvana or one with the universe. In resurrection, this body will be resurrected. And as I sat in the office today, couldn't help but wonder how I would feel if my hope was reincarnation as opposed to my hope being resurrect, resurrection and then and then recognizing that my hope is not a sort of a blind hope, a desperation hope, a fantasy, a panacea that I'm painting uh, with unreal colors. No, what I'm actually placing my hope in is something that can absolutely be substantiated. Uh, Jesus Christ rose from the dead, and because he rose, we too, you, me, and everyone that faces their own mortality, you too will rise immortal, imperishable, incorruptible.